G'day Interwebs, I'm B-Man, this is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, it's part 47 of the playthrough. Um, hit the subscribe button and there is a playlist on my channel if you want to catch up. So, um, okay, I'll explain the process of Meltan and Melmetal. Um, there's a Pokemon called Meltan that you can only get in Pokemon Go. I think you've got one opportunity to get it if you do a bunch of research quests, but I don't know a lot about Pokemon uh, the modern. I don't know a lot about the modern incarnation of Pokemon Go, so um, I might be wrong about that. But um, what you can do is you go to this, uh, you go to Go Park in Fuchsia City, which is here, and you come here and you can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go on your mobile phone to. Um, the Go Park complex, and then you can catch the Pokemon and use them in Pokemon Let's Go. So when you do that, when you transfer a Pokemon, you get um, in Pokemon Go, you get something called a mystery box. Um, the mystery box, uh, when you open it, it causes Meltan to spawn for a half an hour in um, Pokemon Go. So you catch as many Meltan as you can. Um, if you get 400 Meltan, oh, you can repeat that process once a week. Um, after a week, your mystery box will tell you it's ready to be re, uh, reopened. But in order to do it, you have to come here and trade another Pokemon. So I've done that three times, and I used a bunch of Meltan candies. Um, uh, sorry, I used a bunch of pineapple berries to get extra Meltan candies. And there was also a double candy day on one of the days I opened my Meltan box. So my point is that I've got 400 Meltan candies, and I've evolved my Meltan into Melmetal. So I now have to go and um, I'm going to transfer my Mel Metal over to Pokemon Let's Go because I don't really use Pokemon Go. And um, yeah. Before I catch my Mel Metal. Pikachu, what are you doing? Maximus seems to be in a good mood. It's being really affectionate with you. Okay, so I'm going to fly to Celadon City to set the nature of every Pokemon I catch until midnight. I need to open a web browser. This hatched an egg in Pokemon Go with a cleffer in it. Okay, so this lady's the fortune teller and she will set the um, nature of every Pokemon that I catch for the rest of the day. So, um, yeah, I'm just looking up on the web browser. She asks you a series of questions and it determines the nature of every Pokemon you, you'll meet for the rest of the day. It's a way to set nature. Um, but, whoops, I need to add some keywords, because I'm looking for a real, a real fortune teller. Okay, I want a brave no metal. So I need to, um, yeah, if you want to know how the fortune teller works, then uh, go back to one of my other videos where I, with uh, the word setting nature in the title, because I'm not going to explain it every time I use it. But I want to water the red flowers and thin out the pink flowers to get a brave nature. So I foresee the nature of those faith flowers you have yet to meet. I charge you just $10,000. Alright, so I want to water the red, thin out the pink. Five flowers of different colours in front of you. Which flower do you water? Red. Heh, I see, I see. Now among the five flowers I mentioned earlier, which one will you thin out? Pink. Understood. Now I'll look into to your future. <laughs> 
Meeting, greeting, every time so fleeting. Hello, goodbye, every day beneath the sky. Nature, hate you, wouldn't want to date you. Abracadabra, nature is so fabwa. And the Abra uses synchronize on every Pokemon in Kanto, I guess. Faith is guiding your path. The encounters you have this day are likely to have. Yes, a brave nature. And now I'll take your payment. I wish you good fortune. Alright, so now every Pokemon I meet until midnight is going to be brave. So I fly back to Fuchsia City. Maximus is not responsive. I'm just catching a hatted Pikachu. Well, I'm trying to in Pokemon Go. No, it fled. Okay, so I will sky dash to Fish City. Okay, so I will transfer my Melmetal from Pokemon Go. Bring a Pokemon. Go Park 1. So now I go into my Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Now I just have to find my metal metal. A lot of metal tan. Okay, that's weird. Where is it? Oh, it's favorited, so I can't. I have to unfavorite it to transfer. Here it is, if you can see. So I've caught that in Pokemon Go. Well, I've evolved it from a Mil Mil Miltan using a 
bunch of uh, mil tank, 400 mil tank candies, and now I'm going to transfer it to Pokemon. Go uh, to Pokemon. Let's go. It's not very high level. I picked it for having good stats. I picked the one with the best stats. I don't mind training it. I'd rather train one with good stats than transfer one with suboptimal stats. What would you like to do? So now I believe I will quit and save. Enter a go park. Go Park One. So I am looking for a Mel Medal. There he is. Oh, he's still got the tail. Right, so I guess I'm going to catch him. saved before I am um, before I tried to catch him his speed is random um, I looked up how Pokemon Go Pokemon transfers Pokemon Let's Go and it basically doubles this their Pokemon Go attack is doubled and converted to their attack and special attack. And their, um, I really want him in a regular Pokeball. Their defense is doubled and converted to their defense and special defense, but their speed is random. I'm gonna get you in a regular Pokeball. Still get him in a regular Pokeball if I use raspberries. Wish I had a made a better throw. Come on, dude. I'm not wasting any more raspberries. Alright, I caught a Mel Metal. Level 8, a level 8 Mel Metal. Mel Meadows Day, they will be added to the Pokedex. Revered long ago for its... Oh, the Hexnut Pokemon. Revered long ago for its capacity to create, create iron from nothing. For some reason, it has come back to life after 3,000 years.
Okay, so if I return to the front desk, it's going to ask me to save. I'm saying no. Now I check my Pokemon box. It's guaranteed to be brave, but his speed will be variable. I mean, his speed's penalized, so... Is it that big a deal that his speed is okay? Yeah, I'd rather have a better speed, because I'm not going to... I'm not clever enough to use Trick Room. <laughs> So with only one stat that is variable, I might as well try and get it to be decent. Headbutt, Hardened, Tail Whip and Thunder Wave. Yeah, I'm going to reset. button's not working. I'm just going to lean over and hit the home button on the actual, on the Joy-Cons connected to the console and the dock. At least I saved before I went into the park. Raspberry doesn't change the colour of its circle at all. Nice!
So 3,000 years ago, wasn't that when the Kalo War was? Talking about mill metal, mill metal only coming back after 3,000 years? Ah. Really? I'm not even planning on using Mel Metal. I'd have to. I'm very close to Vic, uh, the Pokemon League, and I'd have to train a level eight Pokemon up to level fifty to use it. I'll train it eventually, so I can beat the Mel Metal Master trainer. But uh, today is the last day of 2018, so I want to make sure I've got that date. I don't want 2019 on it. I'm surprised it hasn't ran. Just jinxed myself. Come on. 
So if you're wondering why I'm not throwing straight when it's off to the side, it's because there's a bug in the game. That throws the Pokeball in the opposite direction. I want my male medal in a Pokeball. Now it's gone. If it freezes and the circle disappears, it's gone. She seems to be throwing in the correct direction now. It's so impossible, I've done it twice already. Come on. experience each time like it's, it's worth more because it sets a better maybe I hope likes to run. Fantastic speed, wow. It's a pity that that's got a minus 10% to it. What does the G mean? Oh, it means it's from Pokemon Go, probably. Right, so my mill medal is about as good as it can be without having perfect speed. Even though it's brave. And it is a Mel Metal that likes to run. Which is pretty cool because Mel Metal reminds me of the T1000. So it can like run after moving cars. And then climb up the back hood. So I have Mel Metal now in my Pokedex.
So... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to be able to play again, so I'm just going to save here just in case um, I don't play for a few more days and have to recharge my box, my melt, my mystery box. So yeah, I can continue to transfer Pokemon. I've got six days left on my mystery box, but I can continue to transfer Pokemon and get more melt. Uh, Reset my mystery box, catch more Meltans, and over time evolve them into more Mel Metals. And you're also not limited to how many Pokemon Go accounts you can connect. So um, I can give people Mel Meltan boxes, mystery boxes, if they trade me a Pokemon. So yeah, I've got um. Mel Metal. I have every mythical Pokemon in one form or another. Mostly on the DS and Game Boy games, but now I have Meltan and Mel Metal on Pokemon Let's Go. Um, Pokemon messed up their distribution of Zero Aura in Australia, but I bought um, PAL codes from. Um, someone in France on eBay and they allowed me to download the English version of Zero Aura. So yes, I have every mythical Pokemon until they bring out a new mythical Pokemon. So yeah, that was a video about getting Mel Metal in Pokemon Let's Go. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hit the subscribe button, feel free to like, comment and share because all of that stuff helps me out. Follow me on Twitch if you want to see live streams occasionally or follow me on Twitter if you want channel um, updates and other game related information. And I will see you in my next video.